Hello everyone, I am Bibi Shazia. Today I am going to explain deep learning under the guidance of Professor Gangadhar GM sir. Table of contents. Let us see one by one. Introduction, history, principle, working of deep learning, neural networks, algorithm of deep learning, application, advantages and disadvantages, future scope, conclusion, references. Let us see introduction. Introduction. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning in artificial intelligence that has network. That network capable for learning unsupervised form of data as well as unlabeled form, uh, unsupervised form of data. Unsupervised form of data means structural and unlabeled form of data. Deep learning is also, call, also called as deep neural learning and deep neural network. Deep learning algorithm always inspired by structure and function of brain. Deep learning allows a machine to solve complex type of problem. Principle. Principle of deep learning based on artificial neural networks or computational system that mimic the way of human brain. Let's see in this picture deep learning versus human brain. History. In 1958, Frank creates the Perceptron, an algorithm for pattern recognition. Perceptron means a simple model of biological neuron in artificial neural networks. In 1989, scientists were able to create algorithm that use deep neural networks. 2000, the term deep learning being gained popularity. In 2012, artificial pattern recognition algorithm achieved human level performance. For certain tasks. Why we need deep learning? We, we need deep learning for four important means. Process huge amount of data, performance complex algorithm to achieve best performance with large amount of data and fourth feature extraction. First process huge amount of data. Machine learning algorithm work with huge amount of data, only structure form of data. But deep learning work working with both structure data and unstructured data perform complex algorithm machine learning cannot perform complex operation for do that we need deep learning to achieve the best performance with large amount of data as the amount of data increases performance of machine learning decreases to make sure that performance make good we need deep learning fourth one feature extraction machine learning extract the past pattern based on simple data while the deep learning takes large volume of data input for analyze and extract feature and then identify the objects. Venn diagram. In this Venn diagram, let us see how artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning correlated to each other. First, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the ability to think and act like human brain and human behavior and second machine learning machine learning is the application of artificial intelligence that allows the system to automatically learn itself and improve its experience third deep learning deep learning is the application of machine learning that use complex algorithm and deep neural networks to train the models machine learning versus deep learning in this picture, see machine learning versus deep learning. First, see the input. In this input, we see the one type of input. And machine learning first extract the features and classify and give output. Machine learning extract the feature based on images such as corner, edges, in order to create the model of the various objects. Later, use those models to identify the objects. ML does not perform performance processor or more data. It's not requiring more data. And here the feature extraction is done manually. But in deep learning, it does not requ require any manual feature, feature extraction. It takes images directly from input and required high performance GPS and lots of data for feature extraction. It's carried out by convocational neural network 
कॉन्विटेशनल न्यूरल नेटवर्क टेक केयर ऑफ बोथ फीचर एक्सट्रैक्शन एज वेल एज क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन मल्टीपल इमेजेस लेट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन मशीन लर्निंग वर्सेज डीप लर्निंग मशीन लर्निंग वर्क ऑन स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा फॉर एक्यूरेसी बट डीप लर्निंग वर्क ऑन लार्ज अमाउंट डेटा सेकेंड डिफरेंस इज डिपेंड अपॉन लो लो एंड मशीन्स द मशीन लर्निंग डिपेंड ऑन लो एंड मशीन्स वाइल द डीप लर्निंग डिपेंड ऑन हाई एंड मशीन मशीन लर्निंग डिवाइड्स द टास्क इन टू सब टास्क सॉल्व दैम एंड इंडिविजुअली एंड देन कंबाइन बट इन डीप लर्निंग सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम इट सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम एंड टू एंड फोर डिफरेंस इज टास्क टाइम इट टेक्स टास्क टाइम लेस एंड ट्रेन टू यूज टू ट्रेन द मशीन बट deep learning don't take large time and fifth difference is testing time may increases in deep learning but in deep learning uh, testing time decreases in this graph we check the performance of deep learning versus machine learning as the amount of data increases the performance of deep learning decreases while in deep learning is as the amount of data increases performance also increases amount of data decreases the amount of performance increases working of deep learning working of deep learning depend upon five important steps first of all you check first step understand the problem and check the feasibility of that problem in second step identify relevant data and extract that and that and prepare for it and in third third step deep learning it's choose deep learning algorithm deep learning algorithm many are the convolutional convolutional neural network rnna short long time memory etc and fourth step training algorithm use and fifth step test the models performance for working deep learning we required tools anaconda jupiter etc languages uses python cpp java javascript etc neural networks neural networks neural networks is a series of algorithm 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 that helps to analyze the data and how the human brain work and brain operation etc we have two types of neurons biological neuron and artificial neuron first of all we see artif biological neuron human brain has million of neurons and that neurons are inter- interconnected to brain and nervous cells that involve processing and transmitting chemical and electrical signals they takes input and pass along outputs biological neuron have different different type uh, different uh, parts there dendrites dendrites is a it is a branch like structure that receive information from other neurons cell nucleus or nucleus nucleus it's receive information process and process that information third exon 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 is a cable like structure used to send the information and fourth one spines that connection connection between axon and dendrites and second is artificial neural network artificial neural network contains hidden layer between the input layer and output layer in this picture let us see here the input uh, there output in between them art, hidden layers are there artificial neural networks had four important parts neurons nodes input output let us either here input input is x1 x2 x3 and it's combined with weight w1 w2 w3 are the weights x1 into w1 and in that combine and contains a central unit neurons combined with it and produce output producing output it takes with the help of activation function neuro artificial neuron have different types of activation functions threshold function and um, rule function 
and one more is uh, one more is sigmoid function and hyperbolic target function etc algorithm of deep learning different different types of algorithm first of all convolutional neural network convolutional neural network is a multi multi feedback for feed forward network is there it's used perceptron for supervised learning and analyze the data it's having different type of uh, it's contain different types of layer layer m plus 1 layer m m minus 1 different different layer it used mainly used for virtual data such as image classification and recommendation engine pattern recognition it is used for that and second is recurrent neural neural network for recurrent neural network it designed for recognize the data sequential form of data and combine that and perform um, produce output long short term memory third one third algorithm is there it's used for rn it is a one of the type of rna recurrent neural network it's allow all the recurrent networks and train without making guidance and update that networks and become better performance for that having the it's you it's having different different uses it's having captioning of images and video it's a one of the use of uh, long short term memory and it is having shock marketing predictions language translation and modeling etc these are the uses of the long short term memories and fourth is deep belief network the deep belief network is used for unsupervised form of data that networks are used for train the model and in the form of feed forward net network it having different different uses like image recognition video sequencing mention capture data classify the high resolution images etc this is these are the uses of deep belief network and application application of art application of um, deep neural networks of the object detection classification automatic self driving car is the best example for application uh, application of deep learning and google assistant alexa etc are the best application for Uh, deep learning advantages it does it does feature extraction no need for any engineering features na no extra feature extraction material etc it's it having better optimization and having better architecture than other machine learning and multitask and transferring learning etc is the advantages of deep learning this advantages it's required very large amount of data in order to perform better than other techniques it takes a large amount of, that is why it is a one of the advantages of deep learning and second is extremely expensive due, due to complex data it's deep learning required expensive gps gps means have the thousands of crore of data um, required for deep learning for identify identify the model identify the input it's required gps and hundreds of machines is required it automatically takes the user cost is large and then lastly conclusion deep learning and its application is very useful for our day to day life in speech recognition virtual ob object recognition and several languages are related to uh, this is best use for it's better than machine learning and these are the references thank you